Welcome to the start of one of the most exciting, one of the most challenging, and one of the most fun two years of my life. Hey everyone, my name is James Robinson. Welcome back to the channel. Today we embark on a brand new series. We are tackling the top 100 to 200 courses here in the UK. We are playing every single course every Sunday, so make sure you do hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss it. Two pros, Texas Scramble, 100 courses. What can we shoot? Let's get to that first tee. Right, straight up. Okay guys, so hole number one, Dunbar Golf Club. You'll see we have a very strange start here and we do actually have a par five, par five start. You'll see it's really well bunkered around that driving area. There's a water hazard short of the green and to the left. What can we show on this golf course, guys? Get in the comments below. Are we going to beat the course record? Right, Chris, I'll give you the honor. Par oh, five. Thank you very much. Scramble, what can we do? 63 is the record. Why have you just asked? I've just asked. It wasn't uh, wasn't for myself, obviously. Nice. That is Tell you what, I might not bother. Five hour swing that. Five hour drive swing. That's oh. a great shot. Well done. It's not as cold as I make it look either, everyone. It's a glorious day here in Dunbar. 17 degrees, slight breeze off the left. You don't get a better day than this. Oh, one. Oh, is it? <sighs> Course record and knocked it off the <laughs> And that's out to the right. Not the best, that's down second, Chris. Mm. You might be taking yours. And so, guys, you join us here at the glorious Dunbar Golf Club for the start of a brand new year and the start of a fantastic new series. I can't wait for this. We are playing some absolutely insane golf courses and putting quite a few miles on my car. Guys, get in the comments below. What can we score? Texas Scramble on this glorious golf course. And we've both opted for a push me pull me number today. Huge thanks to the guys at Tacomo and the guys at Seed for supporting this series. Chris, how good is this going to be? Fantastic. A good start. We've got the weather. We did think it was going to rain all day as it has done as we drove up five hours but fantastic day to strike it off some fantastic turf and you've hit the fairway we've got par five par five opening here can we go steven seagal eagle on the first two holes on screen now on screen now course record 63 come on 62 inbound i'm very glad we're not playing my opening tee shot because that wouldn't have been ideal so guys, as we wait for this par five opening green to clear, let's have a very quick what's in the bag for this series. I'm using Tacomo 301 CB irons, and as you can see, the Tacomo Skyge Forger 001 wedges. Chris, you've gone for the bladed irons, which I can't quite seem to strike that well. And we've also gone for a seed golf ball in this series. Huge thanks we to the have. guys at Tacomo and Seed for sorting us out here. Chris, why have we gone for the seed SD? zero two golf ball four piece golf ball it is their well one of their premium balls again there are plenty of balls on the range which you can compare on the website which is in the link below but we've gone for this one because it's the lowest ball flight we've got a little bit of breeze out here not normal links conditions but we want the one that's going to stay low stay out of the wind and be controllable absolutely so some of the other courses we are going to play in this series you will see us use different seed golf balls and for me guys i'm really looking forward to this because we are playing all sorts of kind of courses and it's going to take us two years. This is a huge challenge that we have undertaken. And yes, it is uh, January at home. It's August here in Scotland, and Chris has come looking like it's January. I've just ordered my new winter stuff. It's not arrived yet. I mean, not that I need it for today, but right, it's 220. Is it? Yeah. Water left and water short. Oh. Well. All right! Four! Oh my God. Oh, that has literally just missed him, hasn't it? It has. Well, he's gone to find him. I do apologize. <laughs> James shouted enough for me to, uh, he was down, that guy. If he hadn't moved, that would have been a shocker to the start of the series, wouldn't it? Just behind his uh, derriere. Is he gone to go and put, I, I might wait for him now. Oh, he's putting something down. What a boy. What a gentleman. I'm gonna let him get a little bit further up. Why does that put the uh, fear of God into Yeah, him? I'm thinking just off that left hand bunker. Yeah, when it come back. Downhill slope. Also a bit skinny. 
Well, he's up there, though. I've just got it. <laughs> sit, 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 sit. Oh. We've gone away with that one on the first hole of the series. Just missed the bunker. So what a start to the series we have. Chris has nearly killed the guy on the hole in front of us. I've nearly gone in one of the world's big, biggest, deepest pot bunkers, but we do have a birdie chance if we can get up and down. This first hole's playing slightly into the wind, which means the second hole plays slightly downwind. Both of them are par fives. Wait till we cross over the wall, guys, for the fourth hole. This is a stunning golf course. It really, really is. I think it's fair to say we've gotten away with that. What's that there? But the sun. The sun is out. Right, this is for Eagle. Do I need to go first? I'll let you go. We'll get the tee in. A fantastic condition here at Dunbar. We're flagged high in two. Thanks to both of us. I was flagged high. I was correct. The gentleman was French. He said you could have uh, just said you don't like the French instead of hitting your golf ball at him. Uh, aggressive. That's a lot quicker than the putting green was. Right. Hmm. Sorry Take about that. Into account. Stay up. Go on. Oh, what an effort, Chris. What an effort. And that's the birdie. We're on the move. Birdie the first hole of the series. Okay, second hole here at Dunbar. You can see we've got a heavily bunkered right-hand side. We have out of bounds to the left. Another par five measuring 541 yards. Stroke index three, so this is going to be no slouch. Can we make another birdie en route to a 62-ish? Chris, the trousers are off. Trousers are off. Sun's out. It's always sunny in Scotland. Come on below. That's it. That's over on the first fairway. It's not a bad line in that. Well, I've struck it well, having played it before. Right. I'm just going to try and hit a nice straight one here, I think. Nothing crazy with movement on. It's a fantastic looking hole. Like that. What a shot. We're dovetailing at the moment, Chris. If we keep this up, we might still be friends in the two years that we're doing this series. Oh, I don't know. Okay, so teamwork making the dream work here at Dunbar. Huge shout out to the guys in the pro shop who lent us the push me pull me. This is making it a dream, Chris, isn't it? It is. They said it absolutely threw it down this morning, but you wouldn't be able to tell it was, uh, was even any bad weather. You wouldn't, and the Tacoma pencil bags fitting on there absolutely wonderfully. Time to uh, make another birdie. And if there's one thing I like at the start of the year, it is a drive right next to that centre line. Yes, please. Look at that, it's like it's on, it's like it's an electric one. Just stop there, mate. Thank you. We've got 230. 2.30. Downwind. I'm just going to hit a four iron, I think. Gonna... Flag's back right. I'm just going to try and chase it up. Oh. Oh, some kind of shout, weren't it? Oh, shout and get in the hole, I think. Ah! Sit. That's actually okay, because we can chip across. No, that's probably just short or flag high. Is it? I'll tell you what. Watch this work. Keep moving round. Go on. It's an extreme link shot. I wasn't too sure about your turf interaction there compared to mine. <laughs> I don't think I found the turf yet, to be Do honest. Do you want these CBs? Mm, maybe. <laughs> okay, both slightly short there, although mine is up on the left-hand side. And we can play a nice bump and run in here to that back right flag. We don't need to worry about the ball spinning too much with the Skyforger wedge. So I'm going to go 52. Let's try and play a nice low one in under that little bit of breeze. You're going 52 or you're going 56? I've got 56. Tell you what. Go on. Probably gripped up a little bit too much. And that's interesting with this seed ball. It is the one with the most green side spin, the four-piece ball. James certainly got it. It's a bit of a dubious knee drop. It was, oof. Oh. Right, positive. Nice kick in. Oh, stay there. Oh, stay there. Oh, stay there. See ya. Well, it was positive. Your partner's got your back. That is Lynx Golf. Mate. Run off. Does anybody else ever do that when they play Texas Scramble, put it in the mate's divot and then you can't move it? 
Oh, that's run away, hasn't <laughs> that's, that's run nearly onto the car park. And we just went over the green. Incredible. Right, birdie putt, a little bit longer than the birdie putt we had on the opening hole. Great start, par five, par five. Really gives you a chance to get, get your going. scorecard going. Yeah. Flags out. Oh dear. How embarrassing. I scared myself on the first one. One job. That's the five, mate. This to keep alive the 100% birdie ratio in the series. Might take some doing to continue that for the whole two years, but 100 courses, Chris. Firm. Oh. Well, I had to give it a go. Okay, third hole, the first par three, measuring 173 yards. We have the clubhouse on the left, pro shop on the right, and a gorgeous view behind us, as you can see. Ooh. Chris, let's send it away. Kind of bit left, looking like bunker. Oh, it's covered the bunker. That's going to be a very. It's come back round. That's I just think... at the back of the green. Hmm. Try to keep it out of the breeze. The key to good scores today will be avoid the bunkers. Right, quite an anxiety inducing tee shot this, isn't it? There's a lot of people around. Come back. Not towards that bunker. Well, the key to scoring today is avoiding the bunkers. And I think we've just found one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Got him. There's a reason why we're not taking this. Do you want to explain what it is, Chris? There's a clubhouse or cars directly behind the flag. So we're going to go for safety first. Mine is just back here. Just rolled into the bunker. A nice short-sided shot. A little bit of green to work with, so not too bad before we go through there. There's some shells in here, James. Shells? Right, 56. Side. What have you got? Are you in 60? I've got 60. I'm going to see how yours goes. I can probably more attack him with the 56. Nice. That's a gorgeous golf shot, Chris. That's One good. thing I like about these wedges is loads of bounce on there to get nice and uh, acute with those, isn't they? Plenty of bounce. On I'm going to go with that 12 degree bounce, please. Are you coming in? Right, I'll grab the rake for after. <laughs> Bunker wizard, first of the year. Oh, <sighs> I mean, oh, it's a really good job. I didn't take yours. It had a lot of spin. Because that would have been in the car. Not my best stuff. Whilst James fetches his, I'll uh, give this a roll. Well, I got the green. Well, you did, you're right. What a three that is. Solid. Thought I might have even brought a fist pump, but. Oh, no. 5 4 3 start. Ooh. Right now, on to one of my favourite holes on the golf course, the fourth tee. And as soon as you get through this wall, you see just how special this place really is. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay, fourth hole, one of my favourite holes on this gorgeous golf course. There is absolutely nothing for left, and you don't want to go over that wall on the right. That is out of bounds. It's only measuring 353 yards. The green is well bunkered at the front. Chris, over to you. I'm going to start it down the left towards the sea, but not out to sea. Famous last words. Just trying to get this fading back. Nice. Yeah, fade around. Ooh. I'm going to go more tight to the ocean, Chris. Right. Is it an ocean or is it a sea? Get in the comments below. I see the sea. What will it be? It'll be the... Will it be the... I don't know. It's North not the sea. Arctic. It's the opposite to the Arctic, isn't it? To the Atlantic. Stay there. Is it coming? That's all right. Left side. Polar opposites. Hey guys, I played with danger a little bit too much there. Chris's was in play, but over on that right hand side, this is what we have left in. What a gorgeous place this is. Right, Christopher, we have wind off left and we have 112 yards. You played with the water. The I, did, ocean I, or the well, sea. I saw yours go right, and I thought I knew it was out of bounds. Right, I didn't think I'd come close to the water. I'm just going to chip a nice wedge in here, try and keep it out the wind. 
fall above feet slightly, so I don't want to get too cute. You've got a pitching wedge as well? Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Oh, that could be lovely, couldn't it? Hopefully not in your divot this time. Nice. Come on, wind, bring it back. Bring it back. Yeah, nice, just that left side. You can see mine's actually rolled down to the right hand side, but flag high. Two pretty good golf shots there. Let's see which one we end up taking. Let's see if we can get back on the birdie train. We need to. Okay, I think we might well be taking my ball there, Chris. Little uphill put for birdie. Great shot. Got it just outside right, I think. I hope you zoomed in on that one. Another one. Right. That had here. a proper look, didn't it, as well, like on the way past. That was for birdie by myself as well. Oh, do you want it out? Uh, no, in's fine. Go on then. Oh, it's the same putt. Great effort, but that is another par. And after a hot start, we remain just solemn one under par. Okay, second par three of the 18 holes, Dune Hill, the fifth hole, 147 yards. You can see it's a very, very, very narrow green. What can we do into this par three? We need to make some birdies. Nice, stay there, stay there. The wind's just taking it a bit. Oh, just to that right hand side. I'm gonna go a little chippy 9-9 here with the CBs, try and keep that under the wind. It's funny, isn't it, Chris? Because we chose the SD2 ball because it's a Lynx course. We're in the car thinking, oh, it's not that windy. We might be okay with maybe an SD5 or an SDX1. Then we get out here and it is actually quite windy, so. It is, so it should be the ball. Unfortunately there, it just leaked a little bit to the right. Tricky par threes to start with. Yeah, come on. Just get aim of that left side. Back. Come on, Strike. come on! That's back left of the green. Struck it well. Not bad. I don't think we'll play that one. No. Option two is not much better, Chris. I thought mine was a bit better than this. I'm just glad this isn't a bunker, to be honest. I thought it was going to be a bunker. I'm going to go a little 60 degree wedge here, try and spin it in. Right. Downwind, which doesn't help. Checked. Yeah, I played that quite nice actually. Uphill put coming back. Not bad. Over to you. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Got underneath it nicely. You'll see a nice high CG in that wedge, which I do quite like. Plenty of bounce. Chris is getting a nice line for his putt. Opting for the very link style effort. It is up and How have we ended up here, by the way? I don't know. Both pin high. Narrow green, that's what we're blaming. Looks excellent for distance. So yeah, great shot that. Take enough up the slope. Good shot. Well, it's a battle. It's not, uh, not much in it. Not an easy task this. Well, we've got outside right. They look pretty straight. Ooh, it's another one. How do you want it? I want it out, please. Out. Left half. Wants well, to sneak right of always. Lucky we didn't go with that. You're right to left, Reed. Stay. Well, need of that. That would have been solid. Another par. Okay, so sixth hole here at Dunbar Links. These are the narrowest stretch of holes on the golf course. This is 386 yards, bunkers in your driving distance from the left hand side, OB over the wall on the right. And if that wasn't hard enough, we have a nice little water hazard running just short of the green. This needs your full attention. Are we all right with them on that? Please be aware of golfers walking. Please be sure they are where you're hitting. It is used for all golfers to only play when it's safe to do so. I don't think it's safe. No, I won't say that's safe either. Right. Right. Chris is going with a bladed four iron down this 400 yard stroke index one. Strange choice, but. Yeah, not bad. Stay there. Lovely ball flight, that. 
I want to go big dog, although those women are right in the way for a Robinson four left shout. Yeah, they are. They don't know what's coming. After a, after a five hour drive. So those women, I don't know what to do, because if I hit this left, it's literally there at about 250 yards. Hell no. Just try and turn it off the wall. Yeah, and if it's gone, it's gone. How's that? Solid shot. Drive of the week, that. Oh. So what I need, just two old deer stuff there to make sure I don't turn the hands over. Did you hit a pearl? Yeah. Big drive down the centre there from Robinson, absolutely pumped that one. We need to get things going here. I feel like we're having the time of our lives, but we're not quite scoring for the time of our lives either. This is probably one of the best days you're going to get Dunbar in as well. Yeah. We need to get something going, although we are into the wind on this front nine. The back nine is going to play downwind. Is that going to have a huge effect on our scores and where we post on the leaderboard? Um, spoiler alert, we're going to be number one anyway because this is the first video. We didn't need to worry about the old deers, Chris, did we? We did not. Straight up the middle. 120. I can just kind of middle of the green but try and get the right distance. Straight to the fly. Let's go aggressive. Oh, I've got a nine. aggressive come on Put something in the eye well, it's middle of the green oh lost an eye we'll take that well, i've managed to get us middle of the green there that is a put but i wouldn't say it's a chance no i'm going to change club i've gone up to an eight iron yeah i think it's windier than we're giving it credit for it is oh be good stay there Yeah, probably similar to mine, actually. Mm. Right, Chris, yours is the best of, I wouldn't say a bad bunch, because it's two greens in your egg, but an average bunch. And this is what we have for our birdie attempt. What are you going with? Outside the right, uphill. Go on, get there, it's the perfect line. It was a great roll. Terrible yeah. pace. Roll. Come on! Oh, I'd shout, but there's gentlemen on that tee just about to tee off. I don't want to put them off, but that's two under. Get in! Chris may or may not have given me a uh, little lesson on the putting green, and that's paid off. Two under. We make moves. Onward. Okay guys, seventh hole, slight dogleg to the right. Again, we have out of bounds to the right hand side. This golf course is not your friend if you are struggling hitting it to the right. Also well bunkered to the left. What can we score on this par four? We are now two under par. Right, I'm gonna go back to driver. Before Big I, dog. Before I am plan, when it works. I think this front nine into the wind, you just have to get down there as far as possible. Get this seed SD02 a flying. That's either perfect or over the wall. Well, I did look at the shape on my uh, course plan and it seemed to move quite a lot. I'm going to go a tiny bit left of that just in case, I think. Yeah, I'm being optimistic, I guess. It's safe. That is left of it. Chalk and cheese. I can see it though, we'll take it. Links his shot. Well, Chris, she was all right, but only just. Only just. 93. To that flag. Flag looks like it's in the middle of the green. Gorgeous setting. Ken and Tacoma, as you can obviously with the Sky Forger wedges go with a 48 degree. I've got the set stock pitching wedge from the MBs. Personal. It's just a chippy one to land about 80 yards, this, isn't it? It is, not it Just yeah. to the left and then release down. Nice, just sit then. Just sit then, I reckon that's going to be all right. A little bit long, but a good line. That could be good. Be good. Looks very good. Oh, I'll tell you what. We'll have that. Well, I thought mine was good, but it's actually short. Chris has left us a nice uphill put of about 12 to 15 feet. What a gorgeous view we have of the lighthouse in the background. We don't need the rain shelter today. And you know it's a proper golf club. 
nice dog bowl. When you can bring Brilliant. your dog along. Come on, Chris, to get to three under, plenty of golf left to be played. Oh, oh it's a big swing. It did, it went a lot of that, didn't it? A big swing. Plenty of swing, yeah. Probably three feet. Oh, I'll let you knock yours in. That line yeah. was good, it was just too pacey. It's big a flat. Big, uh, big That's a big we'll shot. go with yours because yours is just a bit more All right. straight up. I'd rather be aggressive though than. Uh, True, we've got to give it a go when yeah. we've got an easy, straightforward. Oh. Eighth hole almost at the turn. Again, we have out of bounds to the right, although that shouldn't come in play. The bunkers are perfectly positioned for a driver, and we have 370 yards again into the wind with two little pot bunkers just short of the green. Over to you, Chris. Nice low one. Cut it up. Yeah, it's just missed the bunker, isn't it? Just. Yeah, opens up the pin for a bit of a fade in. Cracking shot. Yep. Fairway foul. Right, got away with mine just past the bunker. And we're gonna have an interesting shot into a back right flag. What are we talking, Chris? 115, so very similar numbers to the last couple of holes. I'm going to hit a little nine again. I know it's not exactly the number, but I didn't quite get there last time. So if I hit the same shot, struck nicely into that wind, just cut into that right flag. Talking a fantastic game. Like that. That's a shot. If it's there. Um, oh, she's there, Chris. Don't worry about that, son. It is Such a nice linksy shot that, and that's what both these 301 CBs and the Seed SD02 allows you to do, really bring that flight down and control it into the wind. Gorgeous shot that. Oh, be better though. Oh, the wind's taking that a bit. Cutting. Yeah, along with the bunker. Perfect distance, terrible direction. Okay, this is a huge chance to get to three under going into the back nine. Right, two under. Just to get to three. Cup outside right. Correct. Can I have the flag out, Chris? Oh, you certainly can. And then just pick this out of the hole for us. Ah. Oh. That's a birdie by myself. I was going to say, should we introduce a rule where if someone has a birdie by themselves, the other person buys the beer that night? Not a good deal for me. <laughs> I'm out. What a hole this is to finish the front nine. A 532 yard par five. Not many bunkers, but a blind tee shot. This looks like a beast. Chris, can we get the first Steven Seagal of the tour? Is it straight? Does it go right? Does it go left, James? Uh, just over the post, mate. Just over the post, right. Nice bit bottomy, but that'll be fine. Not the finest display so far. I'll say, guys, really enjoying the durability of this ball. Played bunker shots, played all sorts of iron shots, and it's still looking like brand new. Is that the kiss of death, Chris? Yeah. It's been a great ball, everybody. It's <laughs> been a great ball. Say goodbye to the seed. First seed of the tour. No. Ooh. It's not quite over the marker, but it was struck well enough. Did you hear that? Just emptying off behind. No idea. Mm. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, I'm there fearing the worst. Not only does it live on, I think that is absolutely perfect down there. Come on. I keep saying how good the view is, but people will get bored of hearing it, won't they? The Scottish summer. Is here, 1st of August. 279. I don't think we're going to get there, are we? I'm just going to chip a little four down there. Try and leave us about 80. Are you happy with 80? 
Yeah. Shelt. Stay there. Yep. Three wood. Five wood. Ooh, one of us might as well go for it, I suppose. Stay there. Hmm. Don't know. It flirts. Well, it's flirting with the right rough. <laughs> it's not looking good over that way. But in better news, I wanted to leave as 80, and we have a grand total. 85. Not bad that. We'll take a bit of that. I'm still going to go a little pitching wedge. Keep it down under that wind. Any luck? No. 85. No luck, new ball required. Still make birdie here, Chris Phil can be four under going in to the back. I think we've done all right here as well. We've, we've not made any mistakes, which out into the wind, obviously in Lynx Golf, this should be the harder nine, essentially. Sit, 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 sit. Tell you what. Oh, that's pretty good, but it ran on, didn't it? Help if I clean them, I suppose, doesn't it? Mm. A little bit on the down slope, actually. New ball in play for Christopher. New balls, please. New, New ball, ball. Plenty of spin. Nice. Be good. Be good. Yeah, that's two good goes there. I'm not sure fresh which will be closest, but... I think my fresh one. Right, two very good approaches in there. I'm going to, I'm going to say it is yours though, Chris. Yours is an uphill putt. Yeah. Two good efforts. What we're saying? I'm saying just outside the left. How would you like it? In. In. Big, big advocate of in. Hmm. Oh, he's got it. Oh my lord! I've never seen as many over the edge. Over the edge and far away. Right. I mean... You, you know what this is for, Chris? For a birdie by yourself. Another one. Can I have it out, please? What, back to back? This is for a couple of pints tonight in the... What's the pub called? The Horny Badger? It's not called that, no. It's called something. The Badger. In Gullen. In the pub in Gullen. With Badger in the name. Oh. I was too busy thinking about the Badger, wasn't I? You were tapper in, three under through nine, not a bad start. Chris, I don't think we're doing too bad. I think we can get a couple of birdies going on that back nine downwind. Yeah, one more into the breeze and then we're downwind coming home. But yes, big thanks to Tacoma and Seed. Again, two budget brands you would say that could save you money and you could get out here and play great value golf courses. Yeah, and one of the things I like about them as well is you get loads of different varieties of golf ball, loads of different varieties of golf club for your budget, for your ability, and for everything that you need. Right, onto the back nine. It's backing up a little bit. We've got a gorgeous par three to kick things off. Okay, we kick off the back nine with a par three. No, Chris, that doesn't say shelling. It's called shielding. 202 yards, bunkers at the front of the green, and as you can see, a historic building over to the left. This, is, <laughs> this looks difficult, Chris. Mm. Oh, be good. Come on. That looks delightful. Looks Can we kick good, off the front nine like the back nine? The back nine like the front nine? You know what I mean, Chris. You better believe it. I've got a little Tacomo 3014 iron. CB, try and trap it a little and just chase her in. Like that. It's a shot. If it bounces straight... Oh, it took the left. Flag out, I think. It stops. Stop. Lovely ball fly like that. Great shot, Chris. Flag high, that one. That is a birdie putt. Mine's just at the back of the green. Looking yeah. like we'll take your shot. Right, severely downhill. Birdie attempt to gain the twos club. I always wonder what buildings like this used to be. I absolutely love the fact that they are still standing. Must have been a stables or Could have been. a farmhouse. Oh, I'll take it. If I put you off saying it's downhill. Oh. How do you feel? I thought that was a birdie with my own ball. A pint in the badger. A pint in the badger. Yeah. 
Do you want to mark that? Because I'll just have a go at this. There's the par. Has he got the chance? Ooh. Oh! I'll let you tap it in for the glory. Lovely roll that, you can see that SDO2 logo went end over end there and that is a par to kick off the back nine. Let's do this. Okay, we now flip things over for the 11th hole. We are downwind, we have the ocean down the right hand side. As you can see, 460 yards. This is gonna play hopefully a little bit shorter than that, but bunkers right at the perfect driving distance on that right and left side. Par five, let's see if we can uh, try and sneak an eagle here. So it certainly shows, is it par five? Par four, I believe. Is it? Oh, it's a par four. Well, you can certainly see that this must, I was gonna say, this must be the uh, normal wind. Yeah. Par four, wow. Because we didn't have a par four really over 400 yards on the front nine, no. did we? This is 100 yards longer than probably most of the par fours on that front nine. That's a big hit though, that'll make it a bit shorter. That's the best drive of the day. It's about time. I'm gonna go a bit further right than that, hopefully. Yeah, it's a bit on the left hand side. Just over that right hand bunker. I think so. That's on a string. Centre strike. Oh, I'll tell you what, who is this man? I'll just be up here, Chris. In the middle. <laughs> Boom. Right, that's 150, 170. Ooh. Uphill, downwind, although playing 171 with slope, so. I'm just going to chip a six. Me too. Even when you're downwind, you want to keep it under the wind, don't you? Oh, I've not put my brake on. Oh dear. Run away. Right. Shall I go middle and then you can maybe draw one in? Ah. Dovetailing. Oh, that is not middle, sorry. It's uh, on the green. A long way from the 100 home. feet away. From the flag, it's below your feet. I didn't realise until it's Im it. impact. <laughs> Solid. Keep up the good work. I don't know when the golf's on. Oh, that's better. That's really good. Hold that line now. I think that's a great shot. It looked good. It felt good. It's about time. It's only took us 12 holes. Right, guys. Chris has saved me there. There's no way. I caught that. There's no way. I wanted to be playing this shot. Great shot. Amazing what difference that wind makes. Yeah, I mean, 460, a driver, a good drive from you. Uh, and a six iron's not bad at all from there, is it? Could have probably been a seven. I'm saying could have been a seven. You flag high, I don't know why I'm even talking, to be honest, but. Yeah. Go on, hold that line. Oh, another one. How many of them? First camera boot of the series, that as well. That's a good start. Cup outside the left, and I said right. Another one. And another one. Cup outside the left. Dunbar, yeah. I might go a little bit more, but less pace. Right. Let's see it. Like oh. that! Get in! I'll give you that, that was a cracking pull. That was Tiger S. I mean, that, I didn't think it? it was getting there, but. Just that seed logo going end over end, you're welcome. <laughs> didn't think it were getting there. 12th hole, what a gorgeous setting for a tee box, by the way. This is. Another par four, 460 yards again. Oof. We birdied the last one. We did. Oh no, I've had a problem. I'm on a slope. You've not got your brake on? No. Right, very similar hole from the last hole, 460 yards, par four. This is stroke index two. Again, we have the ocean out to the right, but it shouldn't really come into play. No real bunkers to speak of until you get further up there. So let's try and boom it down there and see if we can make another birdie to get five under par. We'll let the captain lead us off. I mean, you, I don't know how you're captain, but you, that's how it's turned out, so. Nice, that, I might even not bother, that's unreal. Downwind, you're an absolute beast, aren't you? In the slot. 
still towards the top. As the chap said behind the clubhouse who recognised Chris, he's going to feather it today. Feathering. Took him to the back nine, but he is doing. With the Tacoma 301 MBs. Going after that one, folks. I have an axe on the right, actually, but I'm hoping it's not a seed down. We'll find it. Well, there's me saying the water shouldn't come into play. Um, there's one here. Have you got yours? No. Mine's got the two dots on it. Mine's a, a four. That's mine with the dots on. Yours was a better line, wasn't it? Yeah. Have you got it? No sign yet. Well, we've both played with the water there, and in fairness, mine must have hit that rough because you put 60 yards on me. I mean, I thought it was a better line than this, but... And that's why, ladies and gents, you should always identify your golf ball. What we got? One, three, five. Down breeze. Big drive, that's like 330 yard drive. Pitching wedge. Total different nine, this, although the next hole looks like it's into. Back to what we know. Any seals? Oh, be good. It's the perfect line. Oh! What a shot. Oh, I could get a birdie. Birdie with my own ball. That's a pint in the horny badger if you do, my friend. That's what dreams are made of. <laughs> In all seriousness, guys, we don't know what this pub's called. Anybody think know it's the Horny the Badger? Pub, the pub in Gullen, or Gullane, is called, that has Badger in the name. Is it the Bonkin Badger? <laughs> <laughs> Lost it. It's a good shot as well. It's all over it. That's two. just two good golf shots, isn't it? Good shot. Right, Chris, I'm going to leave my putter in the bag because I don't think even you can uh, miss that. Great stoppage and distance control there with the Seed ST02. Even being downwind, you can see that lower launching ball's got plenty of stoppage. Yeah, it does say, obviously, flattish, a flattest flight of the balls, obviously, but again, it does say most been around the edge of the green. There you go. We'll line her up, make sure. This is to get to five. Oh, is it? Yeah. I've lost count. And that is birdie on two 460 yard holes in a row. So 13th hole, par four, just 377, but we are now back into the wind. It is becoming very obvious that this is how this golf course is supposed to be played into the wind. We just want a shot that carries around 200 here. Try and get past those bunkers at 200 yards. Chris, take it away. Nice. See that? Is it worth a shout, that? No. No. Yeah, great shot. Oh, that's a link shot. That is a combination of a lovely iron and a low flight ball, isn't it? Oh, it's a chaser. Perfection. So, guys, which one would you take here? Both in the fairway. Chris is a little bit further on the right, but I personally think that this one with the two dots on just opens it up a little bit better to that flag. Would you concur? Ooh, the ball 20 yards further, not a little bit further, but we'll bring it all the way back here. 180. Six iron, I think it should be able to just run down, shouldn't it? Yeah. Is he gone? He's up on that tee, isn't he? He's up on the tee. You are free to go. You know, I've just realised where we are, because I thought that water station was like all the way down there. 13th hole. You got six. I have. Oh, that's sneaking a bit right. Not your finest. No, I struggled with that one. Tried to play a similar shot as I did off the tee. This looks better though. Birdie here gets us three in a row and six under. That's a great shot. Well done. Now this is why you have to love Lynx Golf. I've got no idea how that's happened, but that is two shots equally as good as each other. Must have landed there and kind of kicked in. That is another birdie opportunity. And these things have been a godsend today, haven't they, Chris? Put your brake on. Brake on. Just uh, 
Make sure it doesn't roll away. Who's as who's, Chris? Seed one, so it is you. Is it the four with the two? I tell you what, this is for a birdie on his own. You know what that means, Chris? I don't know how on earth. <laughs> I honestly have no idea how that's finished there. Right there. Outside right. For a tenants in the badger. Tenants in the badger. What a read by me. That is six under par, that is three birdies in a row, and that is two pints for me in the Horny Badger. Come on! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Press ups. Sit ups. <laughs> oh. Okay, 14th hole we are now back downwind. We have a 432 yard par four stroke index 14, millstone den. Bunkers again at the perfect driving distance unless you absolutely nuke one. And then those second lot of bunkers may well come into play. We are on a streak of three birdies in a row. Let's take another one and make it four. Right, we're thinking it might not even be driver here. Let's just try and nuke some four irons down there. See what we have left. Nice. Those bunkers are just perfectly placed, aren't they? They are, and that... That's a centre line ball. Going up to the 150 mark, actually. Shall I just smash driver and hope for the best? Why not? Again, a great flight on there. Again, a good combination of a low, flat golf ball and a bladed iron. Not Downwind, do been... I can almost go, like, at him, where that guy is? I think so, with a draw. Nothing finer than a blade. Not think it's gone. The uh, line, I think. I don't know if that's too far right. I bailed out of that. Sit. No, it's going to be in play, isn't it? Yeah, it's in the fairway. It wasn't a good hit. We'll take it. It plays. Oh, it plays. Fantastic four iron here, but we will take James's drive, which is a lot closer. 138 playing 135. It's just a nice little wedge, isn't it? I just need the camera now, James. Oh, well, it's a. Yeah, two pretty wedge like we did on uh, the 12th hole would be ideal. Six under this, a birdie here for four in a row and to go seven. I should probably clean that, but... You'd have thought you would, but... I don't want to put you out. I'll do, won't it? Just be the ball. Right, middle of the green, wind might bring it back. If it doesn't, we're okay. I've pulled it. Oh, James. He's pulled it. That is a disaster. Ooh, is that a bean? Oh no, we've played out a bunker. I've played a fantastic bunker shot. That was not middle of the green, James. Yeah, you've had, you almost had to bail that because of me. Oh, I tell you what though, that's actually come in a bit better than what I thought. Good shot in the circumstances. Unbelievable. Slate in the shot. Right, good job Chris played that one because I wouldn't have fancied that one. I mean, you probably fancy getting up and down, but it's not a birdie chance is it right downhill we probably need to be uh, not tentative but we need to just think about this one tentative. but it is for four birdies in a row go on go on go oh he's got it he must have oh stop it <laughs> audience as well <laughs> is that on oh, your own there we go oh it's <laughs> not on your own it was my drive yeah we should have took my iron Unbelievable. you didn't mark the ball actually it's a good job it went in oh never in doubt Ultimate camera shot here. This is just a man at one with nature. It is a stunning place to kick off the series, isn't it? It is fantastic course so far. Absolutely stunning golf course. 15th hole, 338 yards downwind. This is not a driver unless, I mean, unless you're trying to get close to it, to be brutally honest, but that bunker will come into play around 290 yards. I think we just want to poke one down here and hopefully put ourselves in position to try and make another birdie in a row and to get to eight under par. Chris with the Stinger 4 iron. Yeah, nice shot. Not quite a Stinger, but it'll play. Again, this isn't a shot that you would take driver normally, but because Chris is in play, I'm just going to send it at the flag when he gets down there a little bit further. He's past that. I'm not going to carry it 300, am I? No. Oh, James. Smothered it. 
into the wispy fescue. That is poor. Well, Chris, yours wasn't as safe as we did anticipate. It's a good job, uh, well, I don't know. I haven't gone to find mine, actually. I'm gonna get a fresh one out of my bag. I will go and have a look, however, but that's very, very close. Hmm. On the edge of glory, you could say. What's ideal? Right, the camera is in the ocean. We've got 120 downwind. Chris has got the 52 Skyforger, and I've got a brand new SD2 out. Yeah, oh, stay right. Stay right. Oh dear. I mean, it was perfect distance, but it was a bit of a lie. I might just shout for now. I mean, it's not the best. I mean, it was well chunked. The ball was like massively above our feet, wasn't it? Yeah. I think it's straight at it. It's a bit left to right at the start. Then he's played a lovely shot, the guy in front of us, and then right to left at the end. And the seniors behind us have showed us how to play this hole because they've smashed driver down the fairway. Smashed a driver down there. Every chance. I mean, it's a good job that hit the hole, isn't it? I mean, it was going a long way past. <laughs> I fancied it halfway to Nearly a four shot. Right, it goes the other way. It goes the other way. All good things come to an end. That's a par, Chris. Not the end of the world. Still seven under par. 16th hole we are on the homeward straight now. As you can see, two bunkers well shy of the green. There is the estuary over to the right. This is a gorgeous looking par three. Measuring at 163 to the middle. This is downwind off left. Nice. Be the number. Just short by the look of that. Hmm. Will we see a hole in one in this series? Well, if you do, it'll be a first for me. That's a good shot. Perfect line. Cut. Tight. Yes. Should be flag high, that, shouldn't it? Hmm. Right, so Chris is just short right. Mine flag high left. This is a chance, although it's a, it's a sloping green towards that flag. Can we? We make a two and get to eight under par. Guys, we are so close. We need two more birdies to tie the course record. We need to birdie these closing three holes to break it. I'd be happy with 65 at all these courses. Remember, this is going into the leaderboard, so make sure you do stay tuned every Sunday to see how we get on at these 100 courses. Again, good landing angle there and spin rate with the seed. That was downwind. Mm. The exact yardage I wanted and uh, stopped rather well. Pretty good. Have you got a tee? I have. It's got to move off right, hasn't it, with that ridge? Just off right, downhill. Ball outside. Flag actually leaning that way as well. So Wonky sh carrots. Should help us if, uh, if we favour the right side of the cup. Comment below who buys wonky carrots. I've blocked that, Chris. Power block? Yep. It's a much better line. Has he got the pace? Or oh, has he ever in that so right yeah. side? Never in doubt. Eight deep? How dare you? This is turning into a dream start for this series. 17th hole, just 338 yards. This is playing downwind, but this is full of trouble. You'll see there is a water ravine just short of the green, and there's also bunkers at a layup yardage. This is no mean feat, and uh, this man is tired of holding putts. Right, really well thought out hole here. We're both going to clip iron down and just leave a nice yardage in to try and get to nine under. That is a great shot. Lovely high ball flight with those blades. Yeah, once that one high, use the wind and a good angle in. See, there's no, there's no, that water hazard just means there's no point hitting driver, doesn't it? No point. Get it in play. Get to nine. Social. Well, there's no point walking over to the left, is there? When you're there. Oh, bang next to each other. Right, very friendly tee shots there. I think Chris may have just done me with his four iron. Have you? 20 yards. 20, yeah. And you can see we've got a back flag. You don't want any more in than this, really, with that kind of water hazard at the front. Let's and try and make amends for those last horrible shots. Well, they were right distance if we'd have hit them right. <laughs> we'd have hit them right. If we'd have hit them right with a square club face, it'd have been brilliant. Unfortunately, we did none of the above. 
Uh, I'm just going to chip me like a pitching match, try and get a 100 yard shot and then release out. Yeah. It's you first, isn't it? It is. I'm going to go 52, Sky Forger. Boys are out cutting. I'm going to go 52, Sky Forger. They are, aren't they? Overtime must be on. Double hours. Must, must be people out early doors. Right. Hold that line, be good. Oh, Chris, that stopped on a dime as well. Skyforger. What a shot. I'm going to play it slightly different. I'm going to try and keep it low. Pulled it again, you know. I knew I didn't have to worry about that, where you are. That's for one in the Badger as well. Oh. Again, good stopping power there with the Skyforger wedge and the SD2 ball. Yeah, pitch there. So it just shows you, it doesn't have to be premium. Again, these are premium components, a urethane cover, a four-piece ball. Tacoma forge wedges. Again, just because they're not expensive doesn't mean they're not going to perform. Hopefully, for an own ball birdie. Oh, oh Chris, it's... no badger for you. It's another one. How many have I missed? Outside left. Outside left. I missed another one to the right. And the same, they're exactly the same. You've just watched mine, James. That is absolutely rubbish. Sorry, mate. Come on. Don't make me pull. Thank you very much. OK, guys, and we finish on the 18th hole, par 4, 435 yards. This is looking like an absolute beast out of bounds over the wall on the right and a bunker in play at 260 if you were to hit it ever so slightly left. Chris, over to you. At the pro shop. Yeah. Birdie for nine under par. Set a stall out. Nice. We well, didn't fade, but it's safe. You can see it bounding down there, so we'll take it all day. I think that's perfect. My right off. Should be a good angle in. Yeah. As long as it doesn't kick towards the wall. Mm. Right, my ball just on a hanging lie here on the 18th, down near the wall. Thought it was a better line, but it wasn't. So we're going to go with Chris's up on the left up there. Right, Chris, I don't know how yours has missed this bunker, but it has. It looks like a good line in. 172, downwind, eight iron. Oh, Feels weird people cutting grass at this time. It does, actually. Greenkeepers have priority, shall I go? No, uh, depends how confident you are, I guess. Be the number. Be the number. Go a bit. Ooh, just needs to go a touch. Go on. If it stays there, that'd be all right. Chased up, not the best. Coming back down a touch. I've got seven. Are we saying that's about right? Perfect. He's just not safe there. That's prime box. Yeah, I know. Turned it over. Uh, it's not Might be all right, that you know. Pin high. Right, guys, looks like we're taking mine on the last. It is flag high. Just carried that bunker. I didn't fancy taking that lad out who's getting the course ready for tomorrow. Crazy that they're obviously that busy here that they do prep at this time of night. Spray. Chris, cutting. I'm going to finish finish with a sky forger. Yeah. 56, little bump 56, and little bump and run. Get some nip on it. Yes, please. Show us the magic then. Four piece ball, SD02, forged wedge. This is to get us what, nine under. So this is to shoot the course record. This is for 73, 63, 73. How do you did 73 on a scramble? It's disappointing after that uh, previous hole. Yeah, we should have held that really, and we would. this would be for a course record. Down. Down. Oh. You see the nip on that? Straight behind the hole. Good shot. Thank you, sir. Chris opting for the more percentage approach. Now, low. Right, guys, we'll finish this off. And this is to kick things off on the series. Eight under. Where we'll be on this list that James is going to put on the screen right now, 
where will be our lowest round? Eight under. Well played, sir. Oh, thank you very much. So guys, that is an eight under par 64 around the beautiful Dunbar. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. Huge thanks to the sponsors of this series, Tacomo and Seed. We could not do this without them. One down, 99 to go. See you next Sunday.